everyone, Live It Like Lisa here. And in today's video, I will be giving this little bin a bit of a makeover. Now this bin I'll be using in my craft room just to store all my wrapping papers. So it's not a bin that's going to get used for garbage as such. So I just thought I'd make it a little bit prettier to go in with my new craft room decor and all of that sort of thing. So some of the stuff, I'm not sure exactly which direction I'm going with this at the moment. So I've got a few things out that I may or may not use depending on how it all sort of starts to come together. Because if you've seen a lot of my craft videos, I don't always have a clear picture in my head what I want to do with it when I start it. I just sort of go with how it's kind of turning out. So I end up having a lot of stuff out to start with and you know just using what I feel. So what you will need is obviously this is just a small sized garbage bin. It doesn't have the lid. I have printed off some vintage sort of looking music sheets off the internet and you can find them if you have a look on my Pinterest page if live it like Lisa is my Pinterest profile name I'll leave a link to it below you'll find these under my board called labels and printables I think I've called it so if you want this actual template I will leave that below so we've got a few sheets of music that I have a selection of feathers, lace, flowers, ribbons, trim, all the different things, as well as some beads that I think I may use depending on which way I go and a dreaded glue gun and some glue sticks. I absolutely loathe hot glue gun. So if I can avoid using it, I will. I have a feeling I may need it in this project. So this is all the stuff I'm starting with and let's jump straight in. Okay, so first thing I've just given the bin a wipe down just to get any dust and dirt off it. Next, we're going to, I'm just gonna mix a little bit of the glue with some water just so it's not so thick. I probably need quite a bit because we're not only going to stick the paper down but we're going to go over it as well like as a coating. Okay so next I'm just going to trim the paper just where you can see where the actual vintage coloured paper starts and where the white starts. So I'm just going to cut that out. I might actually get my paper trimmer to do that. It'll be a lot quicker. Okay, so now the next fun part is to stick our sheets onto the bin. Now, you can do it a number of ways. You can do it straight up and down just all the way around or you can tear bits like have sort of a more rustic and teared bits you can put them on angles whichever way is up to you really i think for this purpose i'm just going to have them keep them all going around straight up and down i was going to sort of stagger them and make them look different but I just think it's going to look a little bit too busy especially since the music sheet is quite busy itself so I think for my bin I'm just going to stick them straight up and down all the way around and I'm going to start like I'm not going to start obviously like that because you need a bit more of an edge for the paper to stick down properly so I'm going to probably start about here stick that piece down and then do the next sheet going around that way. So you've got a bit of a flap down there and a bit of a flap down there so it sticks smoothly. Now, just one tip whenever you are gluing paper onto something, I like to put the glue onto the paper rather than onto the thing you're sticking it to. So when you put your glue on, it's going to wet the paper, which in turn will relax the fibers in the paper and allow the paper to expand to whatever size it's gonna be. When you stick it on your actual um, item, you'll find there'll be a lot less wrinkles. So that's just my little tip. So I'm putting the glue on here. You wanna be pretty generous with your glue. 
make sure well, that's probably a way too generous <laughs> make sure you get all the edges it's coming on camera if you get any air bubbles like that don't worry too much because when we put the coating of glue over the top to protect it that's going to help tighten up all of those wrinkles and they'll you'll find that they'll smooth out so we'll do the next layer now so i'm gonna because this bin's got a bit of a band here i'm gonna do the band separate to that Coated, like you've got all your paper on the bin you're going to go over the entire bin with the glue again so this will just help to seal the paper it'll help protect it it gives it like a bit of a, a coating but it will also help to tighten up any air pockets or any wrinkles that may be in the paper not that it's very noticeable on the such a busy sort of paper anyway. I don't know if the camera is picking it up but there's quite a few wrinkles here and along here but as that glue dries it will actually tighten those up so so we'll just let that completely dry now and hopefully all of those wrinkles will tighten up once the glue dries and then we'll get into decorating. looks a little bit prettier than the plain bin it used to be and like I said it's not going to contain any garbage it's only just a storage bin for all my wrapping papers which will sit next to this cabinet what I'm filming on at the moment so yeah I hope you enjoyed that video guys and it may have given you some inspiration to decorate some of your own storage containers and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.